your holiness thank you for taking the time to speak with us today you recently mentioned the cultural richness of tamil nadu and how people there are not only apply vibhuti sacred ash to themselves but also to others could you elaborate on the significance of this practice gurudev says certainly in tamil nadu the tradition of applying vibhuti is deeply rooted in spirituality it symbolizes a connection to the divine and acts as a reminder of our spiritual essence but beyond personal application the act of applying vibhuti to others reflects a sense of inclusivity and compassion it signifies a recognition of divinity in every individual regardless of social or cultural differences it is fascinating how tamil culture has maintained such depth and expansiveness over the years could you share more about the unique aspects of tamil nadu that perhaps many people are un- unaware of tamil nadu indeed holds a vast treasure true of culture and tradition one aspect that stands out is its language tamil which has been declared the official language of four countries this highlights the linguistic and cultural significance of tamil beyond the borders of india additionally tamil nadu's influence extends far beyond its geographical boundaries with the ancient tamil traditions and practices being found in various parts of the world from cambodia to peru this cultural exchange underscores the universal appeal and relevance of tamil heritage it is remarkable to see how tamil culture has transcended borders and left its imprint on distant lands speaking of cultural exchange you mentioned encountering representations of hindu deities like lord shiva and lord ganesha in unexpected places during your travels what are your thoughts on this global spread of indian spirituality it is truly heartening to witness the universal references references for hindu deities across continents the presence of lord shiva and lord ganesha sculptures in countries like cambodia and peru reflects not only the cultural diffusion but also the enduring appeal of indian spirituality it is a testament to the profound impact of indian philosophy and teachings on diverse cultures worldwide however while it is gratifying to see this global appreciation it is also essential for us to uphold and cherish our cultural heritage with humility and gratitude absolutely preserving and promoting our cultural heritage is crucial in today's interconnected world on a related note you have been a vocal advocate for tackling societal issues like substance abuse especially among youth how do you envision spirituality playing a role in addressing such challenges spirituality offers a holistic approach to addressing societal issues including substance abuse by cultivating inner resilience and a sense of purpose individuals are better equipped to resist the temptations of addiction moreover spiritual practices promote empathy compassion and self discipline which are essential qualities for creating a supportive and inclusive environment through spiritual guidance and community support we can empower individuals to overcome addiction and lead fulfilling lives your efforts in promoting holistic well-being are commendable finally could you share a memorable experience or program you conducted at delhi university that left a lasting impact on you one program that stands out is the event we organized at delhi university back in 2000 it was heartening to see the enthusiasm and openness of the students many of whom were encountering spiritual teachings for the first time witnessing their eagerness to explore and learn and reaffirmed my belief in the transmitted power of knowledge and wisdom it's moments like these that inspire me to continue sharing the message of peace and harmony wherever i go thank you your holiness for sharing your insights and experiences with us your dedication to spreading peace and wisdom is truly inspiring jagrudev